Joomla 3.0 has a completely revamped administrative control panel. This is an entirely different look from the last Joomla version of 2.5. Everything's in a different spot. Uh, it's not 100% entirely confusing, so to speak. Actually, it's pretty uh, nicely, nice and clean and a little bit easier to navigate. On the top, let's start at the top left. You have the uh, preview of your website if you want to click your domain here. This will pull up a preview of your website. You have the systems tab, menus, or users, menus, content, components, extensions, and help. And then on the main page here, we've got the control panel. On the left, you've got, uh, you're on the dashboard page, so it's going to give you the sub-menu of the respective page that you're on on the left here. So we've got global configuration, system information, and when we click these, uh, it's going to just refre refresh the page and bring us to the inside of the global configuration page. You notice they've got a nice quick tab system here as well. Uh, if we're going to go back to our dashboard, so to speak, we can simply grab, um, click the Joomla icon, and that'll bring us back to the control panel. The drop downs are a little bit different in the way they work. They don't work as rollovers, so you need to click on the link in, in order to see what the options are. A lot of this stuff ha hasn't changed from 2.5. So underneath content and components and whatnot, you're still going to find the same information that you found before. Probably the biggest change on this dashboard specifically is this quick icon menu over here. Uh, the old one had uh, big buttons in the middle of the screen, and over on the right it had all of these logged in users, popular articles, and recently added articles, all that content. So if you want to get to the module manager real quick, just come over here on the right and click module manager, and this brings you to it. This also, too, is a completely different layout for the module manager inside the user uh, interface is completely different. So uh, on the left, we've got new, edit, you can duplicate modules, publish and unpublish, check in modules, trash them, bat do batch uh, processes on them. Here's the options button and the help button. Shouldn't take too, too long for Joomla 2.5 users to become familiar with it. Um, mainly, it's, the, it's a big UI change. Uh, another big change is this, the filtering system here on the left, so you can select by type uh, and you can look for archived articles, archived uh, articles, article categories, article directories, these kinds of things, so pretty straightforward stuff. In playing with it, it's, it's really easy to use. I can sort by status, it's going to bring up all the unpublished stuff. I can actually, you can then you know, click there to unpublish it or publish something. Um, when you roll over, which is interesting, when you roll over, a module now you're given multiple options so you can click the drop down here and you can edit unpublish and trash from right here no need to select and then uh, trash a button here you can roll as you're working you can simply grab something and do and perform something on it basically if you want to click latest news that'll bring us into the actual module um, and here's all the settings for it this this again this user interface is a lot more clean uh, and soft, I think, uh, for basic users to uh, get accustomed to. Here's some basic options on it. The categories become drop-downs. Uh, you can add really quickly and then remove remove it from a category so easy as well. The advanced options. So I think overall this is a big improvement uh, for the average or basic user to begin to use Joomla. Going to be a handful of nuances, obviously, with any, um, with any new UI. Uh, folks are going to have to get used to it and whatnot. Again, don't think that um, Joomla 2.5 users are going to have that much of a time or a difficult time uh, jumping in here and getting right at things. Um, new users will have a, a, an entirely different experience than anyone that's used Joomla 2.5, and I think it's a better experience, to be honest with you. Um, so kudos to the, uh, the Joomla team for uh, this upgrade, uh, and I hope that was helpful.